Hello, hello, hello. My name is Alicia Stones. I am a Quality, Diversity and Digital Inclusion Coordinator and a lecturer. So I'm here to talk to you today about something really important and special to me, and that's about black history and being inclusive. But before I start talking to you about this today, I'm going to give you a few statistics that are really important. I just want you to think about those for me. So did you know in the UK you're four times more likely to die in childbirth if you are black? I want you to think about that for me quickly. Did you know you're three times more likely to die in the UK from childbirth if you're from a mixed heritage background? And did you know you're two times more likely to die in childbirth if you're from an Asian heritage background? So it's really important. And I want you to think about why that is. And I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about that in a moment, why it's so important we have these discussions. So... My biggest amazing quote that I love to say all the time is education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. I'll say it again. Education is the most powerful weapon you can use if you want to change the world. And this is fundamentally so important. And in society as people, we need to educate our minds if we want to make changes. And I wish I could say I said this saying myself, but I didn't. This is a fabulous man here, Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela is so important because he is an advocate for change, for quality and diversity and inclusion throughout his life until he'd passed away and died. The reason why I'm talking to you about this is, as I'm speaking to you on the screen now, it's been a year today since the passing of George Floyd. This time last year, my students and I had these conversations about why this is happening. And we decided to do a tribute for George Floyd. But from the tribute, we realised that it weren't just people dying in America because of race, um, race and police brutality. It was happening in the UK. So they created these fabulous posters. They looked at people like Breonna Taylor that passed away, Stephen Lawrence that died as well in the UK. And that wasn't enough for them. They put these things online and they showed a fabulous work on Black Lives Matter and why it's so important to them in society. But this wasn't enough for some of my students. Not just only did they create these amazing posters and things from online, they also decided to do student seminars for young people on why black history is so important. So some of the things that we looked at as well was Ruby Bridges. We all know about, who, about civil rights. Some of us might know who Martin Luther King is. We know a lot about slavery. But do we know about fundamental people that are important to society like Ruby Bridges and who she is? If you don't, after this talk today, go and research who she is. We also looked at some amazing people like Derek, Derek Bobbington Thomas, who's absolutely amazing. He was the first ever RAF sergeant in Suffolk um, to be the first black pilot. We looked at people from the public services sector too and how what influences they've had in the Windrush generation. We also looked at people in the sports community who made a big impact and many more things. And these are the sorts of talks my students did and had seminars with other students on. But this wasn't enough for my students, just to talk to other students about the work about black history. They wanted to do more. So they decided to create an amazing video on why black history is important for them to show other teachers in education and in colleges in the UK. So I'm just going to show you a small clip of this now. Diverse in Suffolk, understanding where I come from, or at least where my mother's come from, and the people around me who I'm friends with who are from Caribbean, you know, West Indies and stuff, it's important to know the struggles that you've gone through, it's never really brought up in conversation or taught. So it's always been like that, that side of my family has always been a bit of an unknown because you're never taught about the culture or how it comes about. The amazing parts, the culture, the food, it all adds into something and to understand the history of that, you discover a part of yourself, it's important to me. To have something like black history, is important to know where your roots are from and why things are certain ways and just to know what your upbringing is. So since this video was shown, we've done some amazing work and some amazing things. This blew up and celebrities saw this video and why black history was so important. Not only did they do that, we got national recognition. We had principals give their thanks. We had the BBC also thanking them for the work that they've done on black history. Because of the fabulous work they've done, we've now become the first college in the country to ever teach black history and it all year round. So it's amazing opportunities they did. We also did some podcasts from on the BBC. So I'm just going to show you the students' thoughts and the interview that they've done with the BBC. I think it is 
so important for Black History to be part of the all year round curriculum because it is just important as all the other bits of history. Black people are part of the UK and I think growing up we learned about you know the Victorians and um, world wars and stuff like that and I used to look at the pictures in the books and be like so did black people not were they not invented at this point? We looked at when we were doing the project lots of black inventors and that is something that me personally when I've learned about black history you never get taught about because it's a very positive thing that comes from black history so I think that'd be really good to include more things like that. I think that it's important that black children see that, that they're represented in history at school. We went on to do talks about it in college just to talk to other students about it and um, you could really feel that there was a kind of shift amongst young people. From the 11th of June we will be facilitating Black History all year round. I think it's very important that we implement that Black history is a part of British history and it's important for all st students to learn and understand that. So what we will be doing, we'll be focusing on the Windrush generation, we'll be looking also at our untold heroes and we'll also be looking at inventors. In the US singles final at Forest Hills, New York, Louise Brough meets 30-year-old Althea Gibson. A double record, for she was the first at Wimbledon too. I really hope it will bring a lot of awareness. To just educate and to understand the struggle and the positivity in black history and understand how beautiful the journey's been and still is. So thanks to all the young people's work that they've done on black history, we've always also thought it's really important to be inclusive to everything in society. And because of that, we have a new role that's been created. And I'm hoping that all colleges in Suffolk and the UK will be able to use this. We have a quality, diversity, digital inclusion ambassadors. And because of the amazing work from education is so important is the key. But don't take my word for it. You've heard from my students' perception, you've heard my perception, but I've got somebody in the audience now that wants to talk to you a little bit about herself. So we've got Kerry Trahan, one of our Quality and Diversity and Digital Inclusion Ambassadors here with us today. Kerry, come along. Thank you, Alicia. Welcome. Hi, as Alicia said, my name is Kerry Trahan and I am an Equality, Diversity, Inclusion Ambassador and I am here to tell you why I am doing this role. I'm passionate about equality. As a young person, I could see differences in people growing up and I could see a lot of discrimination amongst people, but I couldn't see anything being done about that. People were just left to suffer and feel isolated. So once this opportunity came about, I jumped to the chance because what I would like to do is I would like to educate in educational establishments. I would like to educate students on how to treat each other. I would like to educate staff on how to teach students on equality and diversity. I want them to be able to challenge students on their behaviour regarding, regarding equality because we can make a difference. We can open the eyes of the students and the staff in our educational establishment. So what I would like to do is I would like to teach students how to treat each other, how to treat each other fairly, be inclusive and also how they should be treated, you know, if they are being treated unfairly, not just in education, but within the workplace when they go forward into their working environment and within their friendship groups in, within society. So as we have this opportunity, I would like to teach members of staff so they know, they feel comfortable and how to approach students, how to challenge behaviours and educate students on why they're challenging them. It's difficult but it's very important. We want to make a difference. Equality and diversity and inclusion is my passion and we're here to make a difference and hopefully in the future this will broaden within the United Kingdom and we can have this 
organization expanded with other educational establishments and make it a real thing that people are going to believe in and apply within their future careers. So not just is it black history, which is amazing. First time ever we're going to be promoting black history. It's about time, uh, but we are also going to promote other characteristics such as autism awareness, um, disabilities, LGBTQ plus communities. So all of those that you probably will be familiar with yourself. If not, please, I do encourage you to research it because it's very important and um, we're going to be supporting this. We're going to organise events. We'll have um, guest speakers coming in to talk about their experiences within these communities for students to inspire them, to help them to believe that they can progress and they can do well themselves. And um, hopefully we will try to re eliminate uh, discrimination. So who and what will you discover? You know, we're going to learn about black history and uh, we're going to inspire students and we're going to teach them the positive history uh, within the black community. It's there for everybody to learn about and speak about and promote. What will you discover next? <laughs>